channel i'm trying something a little different today i'm doing a mukbang um a q a so we're gonna see how this works because honestly y'all i've already started eating and i didn't record the video so yeah i'm not really good with mukbangs but we're gonna try it okay okay i do have a chicken sandwich from um chick-fil-a i put mayo on my sandwich they forgot my mayo so i had to go in the kitchen and put some on there i don't like pickles i didn't get no pickles and i got some fries boom and then i have me some water so let's get started first question is has your baby father seen landon yet no he hasn't and honestly it's not the best time right now like He's asked to see him, but I don't think his intentions are to see the baby, you know? <clears throat> and I just feel like he has a lot of growing up to do, and I'm not ready to co-parent with him yet. So, no, he hasn't seen Landon yet. Has your standards in dating changed now that you have a baby? Yes. They have changed a lot. Um, having a baby has changed me, period. So what I look for in a relationship is different now. I definitely am looking for somebody who's mature, who has goals, who's ready to take big steps with me. Someone who just is has a good head on their shoulders, you know? I definitely have to think about who I bring into my son's life now. I just want the best for him and I want the best for me as well. So yeah, like my standards are definitely higher now, now that I have a son. Do you feel like whoever you are with has to be a father figure to land in? So if we're just kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Or we're dating or whatever, no. And here's why. Because if we are just kicking it, we're not me and my son. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we're just, like, when I say kicking it, I mean, like, we're just having a good time. You know, it's nothing serious or whatever. No, you're not even going to be around my son. Because we're not going to be serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if I do end up dating someone and it gets serious, and um, I feel like they're a good influence on my son, then yeah, I do expect you to be a father figure because at the end of the day, if you're gonna be with me, my son, first priority, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I definitely feel like they would have to be a father figure if we're getting serious. If we're just kicking in now. Um, what's a deal breaker for you in a relationship? Um, a deal breaker for me is that if you lie to me, you cheat on me, just unfaithful. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I can't trust you, if you're not trustworthy, I already have trust issues, right? Which I am working on, but I do have them. So I'm not going to date someone who brings that, that, um, who brings that side out of me. And when I say that side, I mean the side of being always wondering like what you're doing or if you're really doing what you say you're doing and I need someone who brings me comfort peace and happiness like I don't want to be with someone who I always have to worry about if they're lying to me or if they're doing some sneaky shit behind my back like I don't want to have to worry about that so it is a deal breaker for me if you lie and yeah that's really the biggest thing if you lie to me bad hygiene like don't have that um make sure your breath smells good make sure you're brushing your teeth make sure you're washing your ass like make sure you do that shit there's a lot of um guys out here that just be not caring so yeah definitely a deal breaker for me would you ever go back to someone after they cheated if they are willing to work on themselves this is tough because my last relationship i was cheated on and 
I did like continue the relationship and he ended up um he say he didn't but he ended up cheating on me again if I see that you are truly like if it happened one time and then after that I see that you are truly like sorry for what you did and you're really really trying to um to work on yourself then yes I would think about giving you another chance I'm not just gonna automatically say yes like you know what I'm saying but I would think about it but if you've but I feel like if you cheat once you cheated you're gonna cheat again and I feel like if you cheated the first time you're obviously not satisfied in a relationship you know what I'm saying so that's part of the reason why I feel like if somebody cheated on me I probably wouldn't I most likely would not give them another chance like that would be it for me because now I'm worried about you all the time like cheating on me like you know what I'm saying and my last relationship when he cheated on me nothing was even wrong like we didn't have no argument nothing like it was just he that's just what he felt like doing uh, I'm gonna just say no yeah like it's just it's it's not worth the heartache that I may have you know later in that relationship like there's no point in me putting myself through that and definitely my last relationship taught me not to even do that again so i'm gonna just say no so is it true that sex helps with the delivery process i wouldn't know only because like i, I wasn't um sexually involved during my pregnancy just because like that wasn't right like i feel like that's not right you know like i have another man's child in me i'm not just about to be i definitely wasn't going to go back to him and I definitely don't want another guy you know it's just that's just weird to me so no I, I wouldn't honestly wouldn't know but I did read the article and it said that um it does help to actually naturally induce labor you can you know be um have sexual intercourse so yeah. I'm so sorry y'all my camera cut off but um is landing my last baby um i honestly don't know y'all now i'm like kind of starting i kind of want a daughter now or another son but i'll tell you this i won't be having another baby if me and the guy have not known each other longer than a year and um we got to be talking like some serious stuff like to be happening like i'm talking about marriage because this last experience i have has really traumatized me and um i'm not willing to just have another baby with anybody i want to be committed when i have my next child just because i feel like um i went through the whole pregnancy by myself i'm still going through everything by myself without his father i get kind of like not angry but just kind of just like why is it fair that i'm doing this on my own when i didn't make this baby by myself or why did i have to go through what i went through my whole pregnancy that why couldn't i have a nice pregnancy like i see all these other women have and you know it just kind of like changed my outlook on just having kids like you know what i'm saying like it's it's already difficult to have a child when you have help from your family and friends but like when you don't have help from the person you made the baby with it kind of just makes you feel like well you know if i have another baby is that person gonna do the same thing to me like you know what i'm saying so yeah like i would definitely will have to be getting married or you know some type of other commitment to show me that you're not going nowhere my next child like i want to be committed to this person i want them to be a father figure to land in i want them to be a, a good father to the baby that we're gonna have together like you know what I'm saying? So, um, like, I want all of us to be like a family. I want a family. So, no, he's not my last child. If the universe decides to bring some, bring someone in my path who is committed and you know just all about me and yeah, like just committed. If you meet someone and it becomes serious, what's the time frame for your next baby? I'd say my time frame would be a year and a half, two years. And I say that because I want to know your good side. I want to know your bad side. I want to know your angry side. I want to know all your sides, right? I want to know if I'm going to like all those sides. I'm not going to like them, but can I deal with them? Basically, what I'm trying to say is I want to get to know them 
all around. You know what I'm saying? I don't want there to be no secrets. I want to know everything about this person before I just say, okay, let's have a baby. Because my last experience was just not what I expected. So um, definitely want to get a chance to know the person and to see if this is someone I even want to be my child's father or, you know, Landon's father figure. Yeah, definitely two years or more. What's your turn on in the bed? Hmm. My turn on would have to be communication, eye contact, and like foreplay. I think that's a big part of sex. And if you just don't do it, you're just not going to get a good experience from me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the type of person that can just like, um, okay, we about to have sex, boom. And then we just do it. Like, no, I need to be warmed up. I, I go off of emotions and the connection. Like, I get turned on mentally before I can get turned on physically. What's your turn off? Mm. My turn off is if you don't do foreplay, being distant. When you have sex, guys, it's, mm, I feel like you should be in the moment. I just feel like people be thinking too much like when they have sex I'm one of them too like I be thinking too much like do I look good does this feel good you know what I'm saying so like just being in the moment like if you're not in the moment and I feel like your mind is somewhere else that's a turn off like I'm just not gonna want to do it no more how important do you think faith and a strong relationship with God is in a relationship I think it's very important if you don't have a higher a higher power in your relationship that it's just it's no foundation and I feel like that's a big part of why my other relationships didn't work because I didn't have that foundation, you know? Next person I'll be with, when I get serious with, I wanna be able to pray with you. Like, like I want a guy that be like, let's pray together when things go wrong rather than go to another female or turn to alcohol or drugs or anything like that like I want God to be the a person we come to when we have troubles or when we're happy and we just want to thank him for everything you know what I'm saying like I want I want that relationship with the next person I'm with like I want him to be um very big on faith you know because I think it's important would you date someone who practices a different religion yeah I would I would date someone with um, a different religion. I'm really religious, like you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go to church and stuff like that. I kind of just believe what I believe and that's it. I'm still like experimenting, like I'm still learning is what I should say. So I wouldn't mind dating someone who practices a different religion because they can teach me something, you know? How does it feel to be a mom? It feels really good. Some days it is a little stressful, but it's not to the point where I'm like, I can't do this no more. I wake up and I see his face and I'm good. Like I'm truly good. Like I know everything is gonna be okay every time I look at him. And you know, he's my, he's really my purpose in life. I feel excited when I wake up because um, before him, I kind of just was doing the same thing. I was very stuck, um, depressed, and just kind of just not knowing what I wanted from life. When I had Landon, I just, it's all clear now. I know what I want to do with my life. I know I want to make a, a good life for him. He just, he keeps me moving. He really does, and I didn't have that. I didn't have anything that kept me moving before him. So it was easy for me to get depressed. It was easy for me to stay stuck. He really has changed my life. I'm grateful for him every day. Like, it's, being a mom is, I, I recommend it. It's really like a, a life-changing thing. And I love him to death. Like, I wouldn't want my life any other way. Everything before him was a little rocky like during the pregnancy and stuff but i made sure i meditated i made sure i stayed calm through that whole pregnancy and content and now he's calm and he's content and he's happy i think things happen the way that it should have landon was meant to be here it was meant to happen how it did for a reason it made me stronger i, I definitely became more spiritual um after having landon and 
my my whole outlook on life has just changed completely like you know what i'm saying like i actually wake up just excited for the day y'all like because i know that i have my baby with me and i need to make a good life for him you know and i'm just excited for that so that was the last question i hope you guys enjoyed this video y'all i'm sorry i didn't really do much eating but i really cannot eat and talk like it's really hard for me to do so i'm just I'm just trying to do different things. I want to see what you guys like, what kind of content y'all feeling, what kind of content y'all not feeling. So just let me know how y'all felt about this video in the comments down below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.